Hey guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for, let's see, Scorpio. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Wow, oh, somebody's got some courage for something here. Somebody's trying to look at a decision. They haven't made the decision of whether they want to be single. They're in a relationship right now, and something's not funny here with the human humor card in reverse. <clears throat> they're not, <clears throat> excuse me, they're not, they don't have a lot of peace. Sorry guys, <clears throat> they're not having any empathy when it comes to a situation here. Yeah, they're not single and they're feeling a little guilty. Maybe they did something to Scorpio. Yeah, there's no growth and they know that you are not to blame. Let's see what else do we have here. <laughs> All right, somebody isn't very disciplined. They may not have um, a set routine on something here, but they, they can't always expect the truth from others, but can expect it from themselves. But they're still unhappy. They have no self-esteem. They're not surrendering to the divine to have that success. They're refusing to do the work. Let's see, what else? Yeah, very low self-esteem. Self-esteem is in reverse once again. So they almost, I feel like, almost self-loathing. Yeah, they're refusing to change. They're not, they're not getting out of relationships that are no longer for their greatest and highest good. They're in denial. And they're not showing any gratitude when it comes to spirit or any pro progress or potential. What else do we have here? Let's take those. Yeah, they're not in love with this person. It's more like a, I feel like it's maybe somebody that's been a friend with benefits for a very long time, maybe. But they're wanting to go forward knowing that they can do whatever their mind whatever they set their mind to but they may not have a very vivid imagination or could be blocked in their imagination their creativity they're having doubts here they don't think it's funny maybe other people are jabbing at them making fun of them kind of teasing them a little they don't like that. Their pride's in the way here. Let's see, what else do we have? Yeah, they may not have been honest with you. There was some fear here around some type of friendship. Maybe they didn't come to your aid or your or um, want to be in service for spirit. They may be starting to see both sides of the situation now, but they're still not accepting it. There's some grief here. Could be, okay, let's see, what does it say? I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So they may feel a lot of grief when it comes to you. Maybe they lost you. I know what I'm here to do, and I feel that is you. You have a purpose. You've been still on your purpose. You've been doing what you're supposed to. You're even eating healthier when it comes to spirituality and eating veggies and fruits and vegetables, maybe even becoming a vegetarian or vegan. Let's see. Loneliness. Yeah, they may be lonely. Maybe they lost a lot of friends through this. Yeah. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn, and they're not accepting that. 
they don't see it that way. They just see it as poor me, poor me, somebody's done something wrong to me, or yeah, they envy, yeah. <laughs> they're in denial, <laughs> and they're blaming you, and deep down they have this major envy towards you, and that's what's going to keep them blocked, and that may have been what has been blocking them all along. And I don't like this. Let's see, friendship. I understand that a friend is my life, is in my life for a reason. So, happiness. This person could have made them happy. Maybe they're thinking of you when you're friends. Something's happened here. Yeah, they're not balanced. They may be mentally uh, have something going on there. Yeah, they're worried about something here. I kind of feel like what you think of them is maybe what they're concerned about. Yeah. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. And it's possible they may have been judged now and now they understand what it feels like. They have no gratitude though, and gratitude says, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. And they may even be in such a depression right now. Patience, I accept that everything happens in divine order and they may be understanding that now. Or maybe they have a hard time with patience. Yeah, they still haven't surrendered. Let's see. They're still on the fence about change. It's crossing here. Yeah, it's, they got to lose their ego and their pride here. They don't love themselves. Yeah, they just have doubts about everything. It's almost like they have a hard time making their own decisions and have to go outside of themselves to find an answer. It's like they're afraid to trust their own self. Forgiveness is crossing here. Somebody isn't wanting to forgive somebody for something. Yeah, they still haven't accepted the service aspect of this journey. I feel good when I help others. And I kind of feel like it's this person's kind of like in it to win it for themselves. Yeah, they're not accepting anything. They may be disciplined in whatever they're bringing towards you, but let's see what it is. Ah, purpose. So I think they realize you have purpose and you are disciplined when it comes to your spiritualism. Yeah, they're trying not to worry, but I kind of feel like that's still something that's plaguing them. Yeah, their growth is crossing and their imagination, their creativity. They have a hard time with trust, I feel. But they might be starting to trust spirit or something here. Something's woken something up here. Yeah, they realize maybe that it was just pride and ego. Let's see. Judgment, yeah, they might be facing judgment. They realize they weren't, you weren't the adversary. You were the gift. Let's see. Yeah, they're losing that envy and understanding what you are now. That you aren't the adversary. They had nothing to be envious about when it comes to things. They have to understand that forgetting about um, what everybody else has and stop comparing themselves to other people. <laughs> Sorry, I just lost a card on the floor and it says to do with health. So this might be affecting this person's health. They may not be feeling good. Yeah, there's some regret here. They're not feeling like a failure anymore. I feel like they might be realizing that all things that are meant to happen are um, 
having to do is letting go of ego and pride and accepting things here. They might be making a judgment call or you might be Scorpio. This feels like your person to me. Yeah, they may have come to a decision and they might be in a lot of grief because I feel like they may have missed the boat. Yeah, you have peace. You are courageous, you have no fear, and you're starting to trust the process. I don't feel like they're willing to forgive. They're not going to get abundance or success until they can forgive. The abundance is there, so is it success. Um, they're trying not to feel guilty. They don't want something to end, but there's no love there. They're going to feel like a failure. They're going to keep pushing forward and being patient. They may tell you they regret and they're lonely from you, with you, but it ends. This person is not to come with you on your journey, Scorpio. Yeah, let's get a couple love cards here. Whoever this person that you've had troubles with chaos, conflict, maybe you even spoke that you were going to do something and maybe that came true. Maybe you prophe prophesied something and it came true. Let's see here. Actions speaking loudly. Express your love through actions and that is in reverse. So you aren't going to just listen to the talking. Anybody can talk. It's when they take action that you'll believe what you're seeing. Maybe they have done this to you before. Relationship patterns. Yeah, it's it takes strength to recognize the need for change. And maybe this person is starting to see what they've been doing is just breadcrumbing you when it comes to any action towards whatever relationship you had with this person. Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. And they are not. It is in reverse. Consider your foundation. Look to commit it. Yeah, that was just the same one and it's still in reverse. <laughs> And focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. And they are not focused on that at all. I kind of feel like it's more uh, sexual versus um, love. Okay. It's more about what they can get. Let's see. Let's do some... I'll try to keep this down a bit. I always find that it just takes too long. Yeah, it's a new person's coming in here. And there's an emperor, here, ugh, an emperor in reverse here. So this is a new person that's upset about something here. Yeah, they haven't healed whatever this is yet. What is this? This is a new person. Mm, they may have been dealing with, yeah, they feel defeated. They may have been feeling with chaos and conflict themselves. Yeah. Sneaking around. They're not, I feel like, I feel like they realized how their finances are uh, dwindling and that is coming to an end. They're not in poverty anymore. I feel like they may have moved some money around with the Wheel of Fortune here. I kind of feel like they maybe saw something here. They're very upset about it. Somebody was being malicious here and trying to take them for all their money. Yeah. There was uh, infidelity here as well. Somebody was cheating. Yeah, somebody has strength here. Yeah, it might be the Empress here. What's the Emperor? Yeah, they don't have the lover anymore. This third party, it looks like. 
You may have gone home, Empress, or this Emperor wants to come home. Yeah, for a long term. Could be for financial as well. What's the Seven of Swords? I got the King of Wands who's very upset as well about some news here. Could be about this person coming back into your life that had uh, cheated on you. Yeah, they're not single still. Whoever this King of Wands is, they're still with somebody. Yeah, they want a victory with you. Yeah, you might not take that leap of faith because you know that they're still with somebody. They're not single. Somebody's been watching this when it comes to this love. And they're upset, crying over spilt milk, but won't move forward. What's going on here? Yeah, they've missed the boat already. They may see you now when they didn't before. Yeah, it's something toxic or it's a Capricorn here. It might have been abusive even. There's some regret here when it comes to this love. What's going on here? Spirit. <laughs> We have, yeah, having boundaries in place. And maybe that was an issue before. Maybe you had a hard time speaking up when it comes to secrets in your intuition. I feel this time around, yeah, you're not playing. You're not playing this game with secrets or anything that's unexpected. The sun is right below the moon. I feel something's coming to light. Yeah, somebody is feeling released. They're not feeling trapped. Maybe they have more information. Maybe the child wasn't theirs. Wasn't their child or there is no pregnancy. Maybe it was a lie. The hangman, yeah, somebody's not seeing the same perspective. I feel like they're not... With the hangman in reverse, they're not, they're just delaying something here. Yeah, delaying heartbreak and delaying their healing, not wanting to heal or not healing their wounds. They're not going to fight for it. You might have a lot of options. They may feel there's no hope with you. Or maybe there isn't. Yeah, there's no truth here either. They don't want to speak the truth to the temperance angel. And I feel like they're not healing, nor are they progressing. They're stuck where they are. Not able to move forward with the people that they don't want to be around. Yeah, people that are angry with them. The queen of wands. Yeah, they're losing money. Yeah, no more third party. I, I feel like this person might leave them because there's no more money. They don't, yeah, they don't want them to go. There's something they're trying to keep, yeah, when it comes to a future with you, I feel. Scorpio, they're not wanting you to leave. Yeah. They don't want to be in a competition with anybody. They want you for themselves, yeah. They see you as the loving king of cups. They want to be your queen of cups. But there's no passion here for this person. Yeah, there's no offer. And it's delayed. Even though the chariot is here, it will move forward soon, I feel. Something has to be learned here. There's an offer with equal give and take. And it might be that this person learns a little bit about you or meets you. Yeah, and then they end something here or you do. What is this? Yeah, they're much happier now that they've ended this cycle. 
They may not get any more tarot readings on you with the tarot reader in reverse. Yeah, there won't be a marriage here or there'll be a divorce it looks like. Yeah, the King of Pentacles is much happier for it. Let's see. Not walking away though, what is that? Something, yeah, don't want to walk away from some love here. What is this love? Now they're hanging on to somebody, maybe you Scorpio. Maybe they're hanging on to you. Yeah, they want to give a couple love to you and work this out. Maybe work together on something. King of Swords, yeah. Somebody that's terribly angry about maybe not moving in together, maybe having to do with a home. Not happy at home, that's for sure. They're at a crossroads on which direction to go. They're not self-sufficient. They're not feeling good about themselves. They haven't felt like they've gotten far with this person. All their cups are pouring out. They don't feel like a wounded warrior anymore. What is this? They don't want to continue on. They want to give that cup of love. Who are they going to give it to? Let's see. Yeah, and we'll wrap this up real quick here. Oh yeah, there is a tower here. Unable to adapt, there's a tower here. Um, not, they're in denial about something working out. They're willing to change though, the tower is change. Yeah, they don't want it to end, whatever this is. Yeah, but not willing to put the burden down. They're on the fence about it. I think they know what they have to do. Yeah, they don't want you to progress or um, to move forward without them. They want to give you that offer, but karma is playing out right now. They're not seeing it. They're not making the right judgment calls and they're not waiting. So they're just going to keep doing whatever they want to do even though Spirit is trying to tell them that they're going the wrong way, that they're meant to have these lessons, I feel. So let's see here. Let's just get one of these cards here as a couple messages. Please ancestors help me see my psychic abilities more clearly. Always grateful. Dreams, the magician, manifesting, manifesting ideas. Time alone, balance the chakras and reflect. Manifest your dreams. Maybe this is somebody that can manifest. Maybe you are. Maybe there's a new perspective you need to gain and spend the time with the opposite gender to balance out your energy. So maybe you haven't been around the opposite sex in a while and need to be around them to uh, balance out things for yourself. Let's see, what's on the bottom of the deck? <laughs> Desire. <laughs> And set respectful boundaries. You are the empress. And have faith. I like it. Truth. Reclaiming power. Rules of the game. So, there you have it. Scorpio. Please like, share, and subscribe. And stay blessed. We'll see y'all later.